dynamic world building purpose for living are you aware your destiny is bigger than your trials i'm asking everybody your destiny is bigger than your trouble your trials but many of you take your trouble as if it's bigger than your destiny you will not start magnifying trouble you start glorifying the devil and you feel that you are looking for solution you don't look for solution with fear that fear alone is another affliction when you say I want to go after my solution what you need is standing you must stand strong the Bible says in the liberty where we Christ have made thee whole. Trials, trouble, temptation is like an event that comes to pass. That is why I pity many people that celebrate wedding more than the marriage. You see, we may prepare it for marriage, wedding, you will be afraid whether they want to die. They will fix every area, fix every area, fix every area, all steer cake. You are living in boys' quarter, your cake now three stories. I was coming last Saturday, I see limousine, Madala here, wedding. You went to limousine, after the wedding, you went to Okada, go house. Am I talking to somebody here? Look at the preparation for wedding. No preparation for marriage. That is why after marriage, you see women do like this. Ah, you don't love me again because it is in a wedding. Your wedding don't finish. Now, now you can't finish my marriage. Because wedding is for woman, marriage is for the man. After you finish your austere cake, you come our boys got up. No preparation for life. Trials is like an event that comes to pass. You know the Bible says it shall come to pass. I don't know what you think you are going through. You feel all hope is gone. Brothers and sisters, all hope is not gone. Watch closely. After wedding, everybody will go to their house. You will go and face trouble. If you really say you are wise, before you start cooking wedding food, first of all, keep a bag of rice for you and your husband after wedding. After all the invitees are all gone, you will come and face hunger because it's now the marriage come. A lady called me and said, Man of God, the prayer you pray for me work. But I told my husband he should wait after the COVID-19 we will do the wedding, make it big. And now my husband said he no want again. Hey, wait for the big marriage now. Now the big marriage now your husband give you. Say, he said he no want you again. That will be the big marriage. Instead of you to allow your husband to do wedding in city room. So that now eat away after the wedding. You say you want to make her big. Now the man say he no want you again. He said, make I pray. I said, I hear you. Make I pray. I hear you. Shout hallelujah. Try us. It's like what? An event. Touch your mouth like that. Say, try us. It's like an event. It comes and go. Never you allow your trial to change the real you. Don't allow your trial to change the reason because after the trial that is where your reason will start coming out don't allow your trouble to change your conduct don't allow your trouble to change your originality your future don't allow your trouble to change your direction in life it's a pity today many of us when trouble comes our life turn upside down 
That trouble did not come to kill you. He came to take your destiny away. When you are facing trials, when you are facing challenges, brothers and sisters, be strong. Don't allow that trial to change your focus. Because that trial is not permanent. That trouble is not permanent. That trouble is a visitor. After a visitor visited you, he's going back again. No matter what you give it there, it's going back again. Your trouble is like a visitor. He's leaving you today in the name of Jesus. Let me hear that amen like fire. But many of you will focus on the trouble. You will leave your future and start focusing on trouble. How you get your miracle matters. Because after the trouble, how you get your miracle will show up. Am I talking to somebody here? How you get the miracle will show up. If it's the devil that gives you solution, the devil will show up. How you get your blessing matter. It's the blessing is not the issue. How did you get it? You sold your destiny and get blessing. You will pay for it. Are you aware of that? Shout amen like thunder. Don't allow your trial to change you for one minute. Because that trial is like an event. I pray for somebody today. May God change you for good in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to read something to you. First Corinthians 10, 12, 13. First Corinthians 12. Chapter 10, 12, verse 13. First Corinthians chapter 10, 12, verse 13. Please put it on the screen. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed, lest he fall. The next verse. There had no temptation taking you, but such as is common to men, to man. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able? But we, we, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Am I talking to somebody here? You are receiving your healing right now. You are receiving your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. All you need to do is to get connected. Believe Jesus Christ, Christ is the same yesterday and forevermore. Who are you? Who are you, you marine spirit? Who are you? They dedicated her to, to a river. Who knows this woman? No, I will never leave you. They dedicated her to the river. No, river! Who are you? Who are you? I said, who are you? Who are you? I don't... You are a python. Let me see how you do as a python. Let me see how you do as a python. You will be facing trouble. Everybody around you will be not, will not be a victim of your trouble. Only small trouble. Everybody in your in your house will be scattered because of your trouble. After the trouble, we start solving another trouble. You pass trouble, enter another trouble. Because you don't know what is called temptation. You don't know what is called trial. You don't know what is called preparation. There is always a preparation. Preparation is not enjoyment time. It's a time of labor. Have you ever seen a woman laboring, smiling? No matter how beautiful. Have you ever seen a woman laboring, smiling? No matter even if you are a pope wife, you will cry. Why? It's not an enjoyment time. It's a labor, they call it. Am I talking to somebody here? It's a labor. To put the baby, you can smile. To bring the baby out, is tears. Shout amen like thunder. For the baby to enter, is enjoyment, you smile. But the baby to come out, is tears. That day you will speak all your tongues. That day you will pray all the prayer points you know. That prayer you will call the God of Abraham, the God of Job, the God of Professor Ni, the God of Professor Ni wife, the God of words, the God of Mr. Francis. I beg you start calling God of people. You will forget your own God. <laughs> you will not remember to call your God. 
you call the God of everybody, you will not call your own God. And it's your God that will show up. Am I talking to somebody here? Be careful how you handle your situation. Because it must come to pass. There was a time I was drinking Gary. Only Gary every day by day. It's like fried rice in my house. Gary and granite of bottle granite. Is it not over now? There was a time I was trekking up and down. Is it not over now? There was a time nobody dashed me ten cover. I will pray and pray. But I never allowed that to discourage me. A pastor come to me and said, how will I be praying for people? Me, I am suffering. I say, you are the supplier. Wait. You are the supplier. Wait. All the results come from you. So why regret it? God is preparing you. What you are expecting, if he come now, you will miss your way. Am I talking to somebody here? I told the pastor, go and wait. Because everybody need casket doesn't mean you need it now. Everybody must enter casket, but you don't need it now. Be careful with challenge. When challenge come, try it. Be very careful. Why? After the challenge, results is coming. How you handle your results will determine how you will enjoy your results. This is why after people share their steam money, they will go and face another money crisis. Why they did not manage the, the blessing, the, the miracle. Am I talking to somebody here? Trial must come. Temptation must come no matter how prayerful you are. Tribulation must come. He said he that take care his stand should take heed unless you fall. Am I talking to somebody here? What are you facing right now? It doesn't matter. It must come to pass today. I pray for you. I say it must come to pass today. Refuse to be selfish. Why facing your challenges? Comparing yourself with people. We are not the same. We might look alike. We are not going to the same direction. We might look alike. When you are facing challenges, don't use your trouble to compare my trouble. They might look alike. They are not the same. It's not how God will deliver me. God will deliver you. It's not how God will bless me. God will bless you. It's not how God promotes you. He will promote me. At times, God take me through wilderness because of my destiny. Am I talking to somebody? I am carried dynamic world. You are not carried dynamic world. God will allow me to face the world's challenge. He prays to Jesus Christ. But I am tired now. All the trouble is too many. I know. The Bible make it clear. Many are the affliction of the righteous. The Bible never says few. He said many. Our affliction is always many. But I'm telling you this morning. God will deliver you out of there today. Shout that amen like town down. I say God will deliver you out of those afflictions today. He said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivered them all out of it. None of their bones is broken. Am I talking to somebody here? When you are facing trouble, be focused on your destiny. When you are facing challenges, be careful where you, where you get your testimony, where you get solution from. Be careful of the people that comes to you, that they want to show you way. Because we only have one way. Jesus is the way. And you are in the way already. The way is in living inside of you. Somebody is telling you want to take you to a place. You want to show you the way. Who is the way? Jesus. And that Jesus is in you. Christ in you. The hope of glory. Am I blessing somebody here? Learn to manage your situation. Touch on say, Learn to manage your situation. I didn't hear them say learn to manage your situation. No matter the longevity, say learn to manage your situation. No, ma no matter the challenge, say learn to manage your situation. Be careful how you manage your situation. Be careful. The pastor was telling me in the mountain day first day 
that some a fellow pastor will say he want to take him somewhere so that church will grow. Huh? I asked the pastor, now you get the church? He said, don't be me. I said, then leave the church. If this church grows past the home of the land of my own, am I talking to somebody here? He wants to take you somewhere so that church will grow. Just like many of you here, you have different gods in your house. You come and do holiness on Sunday. This is why after our deliverance, you know they receive miracle. Because your God is waiting for you at home. Am I talking to somebody here? Many of you have God. You have talisman, that is your God. You have a chalk, that is your God. Anything that takes your faith away is your God. Am I talking to somebody here? Learn to manage your situation. Place your demand on God and stir up your feet for God to set you free from bondage, sickness, poverty, causes, and from every scourge of the enemy. Through the prophet, Prophet Sonny Okonofwa, as God has been doing it, through the man of God, to set people free from bondage and transform people's life with the word of God, be connected and ignore every element of distraction that will deprive you from receiving your blessing. So, process is very important. There is no production without processing. Am I talking to somebody here? Nothing manufactured and there is no what? Processing. There is always processing. That is why God gave woman nine months notice. He did give them seven months. Seven supposed to be the completeness. He gave them extra two months for preparation. Am I talking to somebody here? That is the God we save. When you are in your ninth month, the system must change. The womb must turn. The child must start jacking. I'm about to come out. Extraordinary pain will come out in you. Why? The child is jacking. He's looking for the door to come out. My blessed somebody here. That is the pain woman is facing. You praise to Jesus Christ. Ask your neighbor, what are you going through? Say, be careful how you handle it. How you handle that trouble will determine if you will come out of the trouble. I didn't hear you tell anybody, say, be careful how you handle your trouble. Because how you handle that trouble will determine if you will come out of the trouble. Many of you expand, shed your challenge. Little challenge come, you open it wide and give them many names. You give them many names. Bible never say name your trouble one by one. He said name your blessing. Come there and give them what name. We are the one opening our problem more and more. The problem only come like a trial. It must go. The Bible says after Jesus was tempted, the devil go for a season. Meaning he's coming back again. Am I talking to somebody here? What do you think you are facing? He's coming to pass soon. Don't give up. Give praise to Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have you ever observed something after you fight your trouble? You are nowhere to be found in church. Many times, after you fight your trouble, you buy a car, you get a job, you are nowhere to be found in church. Why? You never guide the destiny. You were after the, the blessing. The blessing. The blessing. Now the blessing has come. It takes you away from church. It takes you away from church. Keep praise to Jesus God. Are you aware when you are facing trouble, the first thing you should guide is your strength. Why? You need strength to handle the blessing itself. Proverbs 24 verse 10 says, If you faint in the days of that trial, he said, thy strength is small. If you faint in the days of that trial of your adversary, what is it? Your strength is small. Read it. If thou faint in the day of adversity, adversity is what? Trouble. 
He said, Thy strength is what? Small. Anytime you faint in challenges, after the challenges is gone, your strength will be small. Be so small. Guide your strength. I didn't hear you. Touch your hand say, Guide your strength. Touch your hand and say, say, Guide your strength. Because after the challenges, I didn't hear you say, After the challenges, you need strength to stand. Give praise to Jesus. Psalm 95, verse 8. Psalm 95, verse 8. Put it on the script, please. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation. In where? In the wilderness, in your trouble. He said, Don't harden your hearts. In the wilderness. One person come to cancel the last two uh, Saturday. I said, You have not been coming to church. He said, Man of God, I did hustle. One hustle small, I did hustle. After you hustle finish, you lost your life. I did hustle. Stand. Touch your neighbor, say, Stand. Your destiny is bigger than your trouble. Touch your neighbor, say, Your destiny is bigger than your trouble. I didn't hear you. Touch your neighbor, say, Your destiny is bigger than your trouble. Say your trouble is like an event. It must come to pass today. Be careful. Always standing. For you to be able to manage your destiny. Because your destiny is bigger, bigger, greater than the trouble itself. Say the trouble can go. But your destiny remains. That is the first thing to protect. Because trouble is a visitor. It can go. Your destiny remains. Give praise to Jesus Christ. As the year is coming to an end, what are the pictures you have started creating in your heart? Happy New Year! Because people tell you Happy New Year will not make the year happy. What will make the year happy is what you create inside of you.